Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is Effectively Communicating Research Results to Non-Scientific Audiences. It is presented by Mary Catherine Longshore and Aaron Heath from the American Association for the Advancement of Science called AAAS. Mary Catherine is the Senior Training Manager at AAAS. She is creating a new science communications training program in the AAAS Office of Membership. From 2016 to 2022, she managed the Communicating Science Workshops program at the AAAS Center for Public Engagement. Longshore has also worked as a public information officer at the American Geophysical Union. She has a master's degree in journalism from Northeastern University and a bachelor's degree in applied meteorology from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. We'll start by identifying the public engagement with science model. Then we'll consider how to leverage your identity to connect authentically with others. We'll define an actionable goal and consider whom to engage with and what you'll discuss. Then we'll identify ways to engage in science and technology policy. And finally, we'll identify resources available to assist in understanding and engaging in policy. First, it's helpful to set a goal. To figure out your goal for engaging someone, consider these questions. Why am I engaging? What do I want to happen as a result? Once you answer these questions and figure out what it is you really want to do, think about how to make your goal actionable. You want to create a goal that has cause and effect. You do something and something else happens. Even if that something else is nothing more than a productive conversation where both people are listening and talking. Actionable goals incorporate verbs, are time bound, are contextual, go beyond understand, and can be evaluated. So as promised, I'm going to start with some practical tips for engaging in policy with just a small amount of time. My first suggestion is something you are all already doing. It's watching a webinar like this one. So congrats, you're already on the journey. There are many webinars out there that touch on some aspect of science policy. And in our virtual world, it's as easy as tuning in during a lunch break. So thank you for being here. Next, sign up for newsletters. The best way that I learn about what's going on in science policy is also widely accessible to all of you. Newsletters by government agencies, by scientific societies, and other stakeholders who care about science and technology policy. Sign up for an email list, follow experts on Twitter, subscribe to a YouTube channel. The important thing is finding a way to get up-to-date information that's useful to you in a way that you can work into your routine. Um, in closing, I also invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly as we are continually adding new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance, and professional development.